Now that we've learned all the names of these four notes and then all the names of all the notes down here, we're going to put them together in an effort to learn every single note in order from the bottom to the top. When we play every single note in order from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom, it has a name. We call it the chromatic scale. To start the chromatic scale, we're going to start at C. Again, it's at the beginning of every group of two notes. So here's C. Now before we go to D, there's another note in between C and D that we have to move up to. When we move up, these notes have first names and last names. The first name is going to be the same as what we just came from. So C moving up, this note's first name is still C. And because we got a little bit higher, we're going to use the word sharp, a C sharp. So this note is C sharp. Here's C. Here's C sharp. Now the sharp sign in music just looks like a number sign or a tic-tac-toe board or a hashtag. When you see that, it's going to mean to play whatever note it is, but sharp. So let's keep moving up. We have C, and then the same first name, and then ending with the word sharp, C sharp. If we move up one more, we already know that's D. So again, if we keep going from D on up, there's another note in between D and E. We're going to move up, and it has a first name and a last name. D goes up, so it's called D sharp. And then we can move to E. Let's try playing those five notes. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Now at this point, you'll notice that there's no note in between E and F. So there's no sharp note that we're going to have. We're just going to move straight from E up to F. Now moving on, F goes higher one little step. So we're going to call it F sharp. F and then F sharp is F but a little bit higher. That brings us up to G and then again G but go higher the next one up we're going to call it G sharp. We know that G is the last letter of the musical alphabet, so we have to return to A. And then going even further up, again, we're going to call it A, but A is higher, so it's A sharp. Now I know we just called these notes new names. We used to call them something flat. Now we're calling them something sharp. It's the same note, it just has a different name. So here's A sharp. And now we have to go up again to the next letter, which is B. It's not B flat, it's just regular B. B going to C, there's no sharp note in between. So we're just going to go straight from B up to C. So let's try this challenge. We're going to start at your lower C and go up every single note while naming them out loud with your voice at the same time that you play them. Let's try it nice and slow. Ready? Go. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, go straight to F, up to F sharp, and then G, Make that higher to G sharp, A, that goes up to A sharp, and then B, and finally C. Now that we can play the chromatic scale going up, let's try the chromatic scale going down and going backwards. So again, we're going to start at C, the higher C this time. Say it and play it. C. Go backwards, go down to the left one. We already know that note is B. Now when we go down and the sound gets lower, 
Instead of using the word sharp, we're going to use the word flat, which is something that you've already learned by then. A good way to remember that they're called flats is to think about riding your bike. Just like when you ride your bike and the tires go flat, you start going lower towards the ground. The same is true for the keyboard. As you start going lower down the instrument, we start calling them flats instead of sharps. So again, that's C down to B down to B flat. Let's keep going down and backwards through the alphabet. That brings us down to A, and then A flat, down to G, G flat, down to F. Again, there's nothing in between F and E, so we're gonna go straight down to E. That brings us down to E flat, and then D, down to D flat, and finally ending back on C. Take your finger and we're gonna to point to each note and say its name, going up and then going down. Ready, go. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, a, A sharp, B, C. Now start here and go down, go backwards. And remember, going down, we're gonna use flats. Go, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, and C. Now that you set it, let's play it. Let's use only our right hand for now. We'll start at C and go up, and then we'll go down, nice and slow. Use the centers only of the keys, and make sure you have the proper grip and are only raising from your wrists. Ready, go. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and then C. Now we'll start here and go down and use the flats. Ready, go. C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, and then C. Don't forget, after you do it with your right hand, do the same exact thing with your left hand. And then you can try alternating. If that's easy, try to do every single note on the instrument. 